Hey everyone, Marco Brown. I just got done in the gym today. I'm taking my earphones out here. <clears throat> I go lift about uh, four times a week, start a new routine. So it's a little bit of progressive overload today. It was back, back chest, and biceps. So I'm, I'm a little bit cooked, but I'm not nearly as cooked as leg day. So I do two, two leg days a week now, and that just kills me because I would do one like every other week you know like most guys not very often but I love working out this is my deal I get up about 5 30 this is what my hair looks like when I go work out so if you ever wonder what a divorce attorney's hair looks like at 5 30 in the morning when they go to lift weights this is it I am amazed at people that go to the gym and they just look great there's a there's a girl in there right now she has enough foundation on her face at five o'clock in the morning to build a house and I just can't figure that stuff out. Like what time does she get up in the morning to put that much foundation on to go lift weights? And there are multiple people in there, but thankfully at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, you don't get the Instagram people. You know, those people that go get on the treadmill and just kind of walk and take photos of themselves. That That's more kind of in the afternoon working out or in the evening. And I almost never go in the evening, but when I do, I am amazed at the array of absolutely shallow people there just to get on Instagram and like show how much the you know how big their booty is or how big their chest is or something but anyway so this is what my my hair looks like you know working out has been a real saving grace for me in 2015 i was not doing well at all i opened my law firm in 2010 bad year right just right after 2008 nobody was hiring so i decided to start my own law firm because i thought for some reason that would be a great idea wife and I had just come back from uh, New Mexico. We we got to BYU and then left, did her thing, went to law school. She got her master's. She wanted to come back here for a doctorate. So we came back. I started. I had no clients, no connections, no network, nothing. Just decided to start this in 2010 and did, you know, okay. Uh, first couple of years were, were rough. Did a lot of criminal defense and I figured out I was not good at criminal defense at all then started doing divorce, figured out it was good at divorce. So then I just, I just did divorce. About After about two years, that was all I did. So in 2015, I've been doing that for about three years. It's doing well, won some awards, won a divorce attorney of the year here in Utah, voted on by my peers in the Bar Association. So I really enjoyed that. That was great for me. I felt like I kind of arrived, but I was not doing well on a lot of other fronts. We were in massive debt. What did we have back then? 150, 160,000 in student loans. We had a house. I think all totaled, we had about $450,000 in debt. It was just killing me. Then I was still doing everything on my own. Uh, had a couple employees, but I was still doing like everything in the law firm. Uh, it, it, it was just taxing. I let myself get fat. So I was fat when I was a kid, uh, 250 pounds my freshman year at BYU and about five, what was I, 5'9 back then? I'm 5'11 now. So I was 5'9 and 250 pounds. I was a big boy and I took up a lot of space. And I thankfully lost all of that weight, got down to about 170 pounds while I was on my Mormon mission in Italy. Amazing, right, that, that I lost a whole bunch of weight in Italy, but uh, I was out 12 hours a day just walking around. So you lose a lot of weight when it's super hot and you're just walking around all day long. So I let myself get back up to, I think it was in the 215 range, which for me is really, really big. Anything over 200 is, is super big for me. So I let myself get, uh, get kind of fat again. Uh, my, my emotions were not doing well. I wasn't sleeping well. Uh, spiritually, it wasn't that, that great. And I decided to make a whole bunch of changes that year in 2015. What the very first one I think I made was I read The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss and got done with that book, decided to follow his meal plan and get up at five o'clock in the morning to work out. So I got up, I remember the day, I think it was February. I got up in, in five o'clock in February and went for a walk for I think three or four miles. And then I started working out after that and it kind of ebbs and flows like everybody else, you know, consistency is a, a problem for me. But working out, walking, lifting weights. Those are the two exercises I do. I lift heavy objects and put them down and then I walk because those are the two things I like and you got to do what you like. Otherwise you're just not going to do it. So that right there was an immediate change for me. I think I lost 20 pounds within, um, 
two or three months, got down to about 195, and I kind of fluctuated 195. I'll go down to 190, go up to 197, somewhere around in there. But I kind of stay in that in that range. But that's a lot healthier than 215 for me. So working out has been a real saving grace for me. And the thing I notice about people getting divorced is that they kind of give up on their hobbies. They give up on working out. They give up on all of these things that really help them out and make them happy and, and allow them to regulate their emotions and uh, you know kind of keep their spirits up because they're dealing with these problems in their marriage. And they just think, you know, I got all these problems. Why, why am I doing this other stuff? Or they just give up on the other stuff and they have problems with their marriage. I'm not exactly sure. What I do know is they, they just don't do basic things like working out or sleeping enough and those things really mess with uh, with your emotions with your psychology and everything else so tell everybody to go work out like if nothing else right maybe it doesn't save your marriage uh, but it can't hurt that you're not doing other things when you're working out your your body's getting better your mind's getting better there's absolutely no downside to it and if it helps regulate your emotions and if you do it with your spouse maybe that's something that you two can do together and that kind of brings you together more maybe that helps you out but if you're going through a divorce and you're going through the the severe emotions you know the kind of ups and downs of a divorce the depression that's involved in a divorce working out is certainly going to help you working out is a great uh, fix for a depression in a lot of people so if you're going through those just start you know start lifting weights start going on walks start running whatever you like uh, can't hurt you it's only going to help you your kids probably the same thing because i guarantee you they're going through uh, emotional ups and downs in a divorce as well so that's my uh, that's my evangelism for working out Thanks everybody, and we'll talk to you a little bit later. Oh, if you have any questions, you can always drop questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them in a video. Or if you need help with a divorce, give us a call, 801-685-9999, or check us out on the web at www.utdivorceattorney.com. Thanks everyone, bye.